Today we're going to learn the difference between a zero dollar snow removal device, also known as a stick, and some very expensive heavy machinery, which probably does a lot better than my wood. But I believe in my little stick, so we're going to get out there and start plowing snow right away. Everybody already has so much cooler stuff than I do, all I have is a stick. I did this double my output though, if I go right between the panels I can get two at a time. I believe I spotted another person with a stick, so they understand my pain. I've traded in 200 of my hard earned snow for a snow shovel, so at least we have a re reasonably serious piece of equipment for this job now. And I now get two snowflakes, even four snowflakes per shovel. And once I grow up and get 3000 snow, I can go that way and go hang out with the bigger kids. Gathering two to four snow at a time is not that bad. I've done far more wasteful things with my precious energy. And if we really want some excitement, every once in a while we find a pile of snow that I think gives me a bonus. And now that we've gotten 500 snow, we can get a water gun which is obviously even better for moving snow. And it's just as cool looking as you'd think. But I seem to be taking out a much bigger area around me now. We're getting two to four snow per panel, but we're taking out a lot more panels. I already forgot how many I needed for the next thing, but I'm just enjoying diving in the snow. You can't tell me this doesn't look like a lot of fun. At least four panels wide like a true champion. We've quickly got a thousand dollars, now we can get a push plow, which sounds like a made up thing. And it's basically a tube on wheels, and that's convenient. So I think it's probably going to get us, yeah, a lot more snow. We're now getting between four and eight snows per panel, which is more snow than I thought it would be shoveling today. But I'm naturally very excited for the next upgrade, because we should be getting this much snow, but on more panels, so we'll be rich. To make sure we're done this by the end of the week, I bought double walk speed, but I somehow don't feel like I'm walking twice as fast. So I've restarted the game, and now I do feel like I'm moving way more than twice as fast. The game just can't decide what it wants to do for us. So I think it's safe to say we're probably going to be able to plow a lot of snow no matter what we do at this rate, because we got like two times two times speed. The next tool involved naturally is a flamethrower. Fire plus snow equals water, so I guess we're a water collector at this point. So now we're just going to pour fire on all of our problems, and this is going to move a lot of snow. This is kind of melting snow so fast that we might actually run out of snow to farm and have to wait for it to respawn. It took us about 30 seconds to make another 2,000 snow. We paid 2,500 for the flamethrower to begin with. And we've hit 3,000 snow, so that should mean we can go this way. I don't know if that permanently stays open or not, but now we're getting double snow. So we're getting between 6 and 12 per panel. And there's a lot of these snow drifts out here, and I have to assume that means extra snow for us. But then we can get right to the snowblower for $4,000. That comes easy. Hmm, this seems to make a lot of sense. Now we're getting between 12 and 24 snows per panel so we just gotta run around the woods like a psychopath and before you know it we'll have enough for the next tool. I feel like if we get anything else that can increase our speed we're gonna break the game simply because we're moving too fast and doing too much. We need 25,000 snow to go up there to the big blowy boys. So the next tool we need to unlock is the magic wand but that costs $50,000. We're only a tenth of the way there. Vehicles however we can get the uh, snowmobile quite easily. 7,500. So if the snow ever wants to regenerate we'll be able to get there in no time at all. And I I do have to stay in this area over here to get the doubling effect. I hope I can go back to the original area and there is some snow out amongst the trees but this is very slow to harvest. Okay we got a lot more snow than I realized so we're gonna spend $10,000 on a snowmobile. We're gonna spawn that in. I don't know if that pairs with our tool or not. And just like that we have a snowmobile. We're moving quick and we can't turn. Okay this actually turns like a snowmobile. Eh, wh what's happening? Why is it going sideways? Uh, it's kind of just driving wherever it wants to. This is really, uh, convenient. We're gonna get a lot of snow using this wonderful machine. It is faster than walking normally, but I have extra walking speed, so this is actually a lot slower. And we're just getting less snow in general, so I gotta go back to our tool. Apparently the snowblower is also still equipped, so we're just gonna unequip the vehicle then, because this doesn't work. No snowmobile could ever possibly compare to our mighty legs. Look at this poor soul, walking along using regular speed, we'll go ahead and just zoom on past them. We do have enough for the next vehicle, which is a gator. Let's spawn that in for $10,000, I might regret this. All-terrain snow destroyer. Let's see if that actually holds true for one of these. I was wondering where it was, because I didn't initially see it, and then I realized they decided to park it over here where it's very convenient for me. So far it does drive a lot better than the snowmobile. It's still not great, but it is quite quick. I still think we're better off just with our tool, but for the sake of something different, we'll cruise around in circles on this for a minute. I still feel like we're not getting nearly enough production out of this. If we're just running around with our snowblower, we move basically as fast, but we get double the amount of snow. I'm so good at shoveling snow that we're actually running out again. Like, there's hardly any snow anywhere for me to get. Pretty sure that's a flying saucer. That's probably pretty good at removing snow. I forgot that there is pets, so we're gonna buy a few pets 
it can hopefully help us out. So far we got a common dog and I'll take anything at this point because I'm desperate. A rare bunny. We'll equip those and see what kind of difference they make. I bet I can get one more so we're gonna get one more. We'll spend a thousand dollars on this one to get a polka dot egg. It is Easter after all and I'm a child. So that's increased the amount of snow we got by quite a bit especially when we move over here. We're getting 24 or 48 per cluster. So it's probably worth getting as many pets as we possibly can because those are going to make a huge difference for us as well. We've gathered up over 30,000 snows so that means we can go up here to get even more. We're getting 36 and 72. We can also buy gold pets here. Spoiler alert, we definitely can't afford any gold pets. But we will enjoy this very valuable snow. When you go beyond there we're going to get four times snow but we definitely can't afford that. What we can afford is a Tahoe V. We're getting 18 and 36 snow out of this. We might be plowing a bigger area, but it's so hard to control. I don't know if it's worth it. We're going to make a lot of snow no matter what we do. But there's also this cool jump over here. So we'll try and hit this and see what happens. And <laughs> we rolled over and died. Now I don't know what to do with it. Never mind. It's one of those self-leveling trucks. So put itself right side up again. I guess we can just go down back and forth plowing out a gigantic area like this. That should add up to some snow. Yeah, this feels pretty efficient because we can go all the way up here. This snow seems to respond fairly quickly. And we go around and then straight back down. But since we're over here, we need to buy some new pets. $5,000 pets are probably worth it if they're going to multiply a lot. Common chicken. Plus a common deer, plus whatever this last one is. We've got two chickens, one deer, and a rare elephant. So our best run before I had a 1.5 times multiplier. Our best now is a 3.5. It auto-equips the best. So now even in area 2, we're going to be getting 84 or 168 snow per brick. But we didn't buy this vehicle for no reason. We're going to sit in here where it's warm and cozy. The pets can sit outside getting me a multiplier. I'm just going to uh, drive around like a madman. I just realized we're up to 80,000 snow so we can get the magic wand which is obviously much better for uh, snow. So the magic wand uh, basically means we can cast an AoE effect on the ground that destroys all the snow. It's also getting us like 300 per cluster. 168, 504. So this is also quite efficient. This one's actually wide enough that we can go down the path and clear the whole thing. Uh, we're already up over 100,000 snow. And I did notice when I despawned my last vehicle that we can buy this snowplow for 65,000. I like how it forces us to play hide and seek every time we spawn it in because it puts it somewhere absolutely absurd. Okay, I found it this time. This is a much bigger snowplow. Hopefully it gets a big multiplier on its numbers. We'll find out very soon. Uh, okay, it's 14 or 21. It's just sort of mining a lot of it. The magic wand is still faster, just based on how much snow it's giving us. We could plow this whole thing and look at the numbers going up. We're making thousands per second. Me, big tractor. Farmer's tractor with large plow. Eventually one of these vehicles has got to be worth my time. So this has got a snow plow following behind us as well. That's got to collect a lot of snow. The numbers are actually getting better. 42 per parcel. And where this is going to go? It actually steers really nicely too. The vehicles might be better in wide open spaces though. Where things like the wand you can just kind of take anywhere. Uh, and then that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and plow the trees and everything while we're at it. It's crazy because the wand is still faster and the wand only costs 50,000 whereas this costs 80. And I've immediately got it stuck against a tree. And then apparently I broke it. It doesn't want to go anymore. Well, I paid for super movement speed so we're gonna use super movement speed. We're gonna use the magic wand to uh, move a whole bunch of snow. As I came over here, I realized that we broke into the barrier here because we have over 300,000 snow. Look at all that. To celebrate, we're gonna buy ourselves a wheel loader. Blow the snow into people's houses for $200,000. I've never been so happy to drive a snowplow in all of my life. That's getting us a lot per block and we have a big wide path plus this thing moves. And these are nice big open swaths so we can um crash into things, turn it around and go back the other way. Yeah we're working the driving later but for now we're gonna get a lot of snow off of this especially because we have such a big multiplier over here. Next I need to blow a million dollars of snow into those people's houses. We're on our way to the big city. The grader is also only $300,000 and I can't help myself so we're gonna buy that. So far I can tell that the problem with the grader is that it drives like a grader. It's really good at getting a big wide uh, line straight in a row but when you have to turn it around suddenly you can't really do that. You're committed to just going in one direction really. I might be able to turn around here but even then as you can see it's a little wide but it is able to gather up some snow when it does get going and i got it stuck on those things right away our magic wand over here also does a number on the snow i think all i've concluded so far is that we need better pets this one only costs 175,000, so we'll buy one of those and with that we got the golden snow cat so now some of that snow we're removing is worth well over a thousand 
uh, I just gotta figure out where I'm going. I basically done a single lap around this and I'm up to almost 500,000 snow so it really doesn't take any time at all with these pets in this wand. After finishing off this row we have officially just over 1 million snow and that means we can continue on a rampage to this residential neighborhood where we're getting even bigger multipliers. We're getting up to 2,200 per swath and the streets are very wide which might be perfect for flying my alien saucer around. Uh, luckily it's obscenely hard to drive as well. Uh, yeah I think I'm getting the hang of it now though. I have no idea how I got up here or what did you do with this but we're able to laser all the snow down below. It is pretty great in the sense that like I can go over top of the houses so I don't crash into things anymore and I can just perpetually go around in big circles. And these people probably feel very safe knowing that there's an alien ship plowing their snow on their behalf. To open up the big area with new colorful stuff we need 10 million snow so we're actually already 10% of the way there. We're now up to 2.5 million snow. I wanted to come back here to see what kind of new pets we could get. Uh, we can keep going up higher in this. Okay, we could buy a pet for 1.5 million. Hopefully we get something extraordinarily rare because that would help our snow plowing numbers immensely. We got a rare monkey. That's got a 16 times multiplier, so that's going to replace a 2 times multiplier. Every piece of snow we're touching in here is up to 6,000. They're all over 1,000, so those numbers are going up quick. We've already made another million. I think the wand is somehow still the best. There is 2 million. And by the time we're all the way back, we can afford a 3 million pet. Come on, rare one. Oh, wait, we don't want to filter that out. We want to get it. Are we lucky? We are not at all lucky. Golden Swamp Dog. Well, it does have a multiplier of 20 at least, so that's going to replace a multiplier of 2.5, so the numbers go up. I've also realized that I could buy more uh, pet slot equips, so now we can hold up to 18. So we don't have to replace them anymore. They're all just going to stack up, so we have a pet multiplier of 50. I'm going to have a whole army of multiplying pets around me. In fact, we already have one. But look at all the money we're making. We're back up to 1.5 million and now the win. Here we're getting up to 8,000 per piece of snow. 10,000. Also in the menu, I noticed there's a very compact squished bulldozer. So I feel like that might be good for something. It's probably not very quick, but we're getting up to like... 40,000 snow and it actually maneuvers fairly well. So this is probably going to be our new favorite tool for gathering snow because look at those numbers going up. We're up to 5 million already. I should have just paid to win from the beginning. It's always just so much easier. And we're going 4 lanes wide on this one. We're well over 10 million so that means we get to bust into that area. And we get 6 times snow from in here so we're going to get a lot of 40,000 multipliers and new more expensive pets for 50 million. And to go into the next area over there looks like we need 250 million. How do I get out of this? Yeah, okay, we're going to buy a pet here for... I I can't see how much that is. I think it was 12 and a half. Whatever it was, we could afford it. Golden Panda. That's got a 26 times multiplier and that just adds on to our list of all the pets. So let's get back to plowing again. 54, 50,000 per uh, block and we're plowing all of these blocks. The numbers are going to get so big so fast. And these areas are so nice and big. It's like they're made for machinery. I'm legitimately enjoying this way more than I should be. But we've saved up 78 million snows. We can currently equip six more pets. So I'm tempted to do six of these or five of these and one of that. We're probably better off to roll the 12 and a half one five six times and then hopefully get a rare pet out of this and then our snow uh, recovery is even stronger so we can roll that into better pets anyway. We didn't get anything past rare but our current multiplier is 75 times. If I equip the remaining pets that goes up to 234 times so we're doing a little better. So now we're making up to 127, 170 thousand snow per parcel. So we're gonna break in the millions quite quickly. But we're running out of snow in this oval so we're gonna go back to the previous area where we still get a really good multiplier and there's just tons of snow in this area. If I do the whole thing I'll get like 100 bazillion snow. And back into the high value oval it does respawn quite fast. And we quickly saved up 300 million snow so now we can go in here where there's a tunnel and a teleporter. Which apparently takes us straight to the moon obviously where the best snow of all is. And there's a 500 million dollar pet. It's always been a dream of mine to snow plow on the moon. So we're going to enjoy that for a little bit. Uh, we're definitely getting many hundreds of thousands uh per thing and there's an edge here we don't want to hit. I like it in this game those just sneak up out of nowhere. You'll be cruising along enjoying yourself and then suddenly you're stuck and it takes 10 minutes to maneuver your enormous machine back into place. Okay the moon snow isn't nearly as good as you'd think because it runs out quickly and then we hit a bunch of invisible barriers. I gotta go back to the other area. 500 million snows later we can get the pet. Hopefully we get a very rare one because for the price we're paying this has got to be good to be justified. Galaxy Panda. I mean, I guess it does have a 60 times multiplier. That's double uh, my current best one. And it's going to replace a very basic one. So 234 times multiplier. That's going to go way up. 292 times multiplier for a single pet. <laughs> Even using just the magic wand here, we make so much. We get such a big swath. The magic wand might still be the best. Whatever the case, I feel like we've uh, won the snow plowing, whatever this is. 